In this video, I will show you how to solve ordinary differential equation using the built-in function in GNU Octave and MATLAB. As an example, I will solve dy over dt equals minus 2y with the initial condition of y0 equals 1. To support my channel, you know what to do. Here is the outline for this video with the timestamp, and you can directly jump the topics that you want to learn. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before I jump into how to solve ordinary differential equation, ODE for short, I would like to go over how we come up with the given ODE. This can be related to a math equation to describe the water draining out of the water tank by gravity. Provided that we have a water container with an initial water height of 1 meter. Now, when you open the valve at the bottom of the water tank, you can drain the water. One thing that I would like to highlight here is that the water draining speed is proportional to the water height. In other words, the higher water height builds up the larger hydraulic pressure, causing the larger water drain. To mathematically describe this physical problem, you can use dy over dt for the water draining velocity. The dy over dt stands for the how fast your water height y changes with respect to time. Since the water height y decreases as the time goes by, I need to use a negative sign. As you can imagine, the water draining velocity is the proportional to the water height y itself. I came up with minus dy over dt is proportional to y. To further develop the equation, we can introduce a coefficient alpha, which is related to physical properties such as the water tank cross-section area, hydraulic resistance of the valve, gravitational acceleration, and etc. To simplify the problem, I chose 2. It can be changed depending on the physical system that you are working on. Lastly, since we have the first order ODE, we need the one initial condition. In this case, we will need the initial height of the water. I chose 1. Now, let's talk about how to solve. In this section, I will solve given ODE using pen and paper approach to check your solution from ODE45 function is reasonable. If you know how to solve it using pen and paper, you can skip this section. Since this ODE is a separable equation, I can move all the terms related to y to the left hand side and all the terms related to t to the right hand side. So I have dy over y on the left hand side and minus 2 dt on the right hand side. To solve it for y, you can integrate over dy on the left hand side as well as integrate over dt on the right hand side. Using the indefinite integrals, you have a natural log of y on the left hand side equals minus 2t plus c. c is an arbitrary constant. To express this equation for y, you will have y equals e to the power of minus t plus c or y equals c1 e to the power of minus 2t. Again, c1 is arbitrary constant. To determine c1, you can use initial condition y0 equals 1. So you can simply plug into this equation. So y should be equal to 1 at t equal to 0 so that c1 should be 1. So final solution will be y equals e to the power of minus 2t. Now your solution is y equals to e to the power of minus 2t and you're expecting to have y equals e to the power of minus 2t from the numerical solution in Octave and MATLAB. And we can use this analytical solution for your reference. 
There are a few other built-in OD solvers in Octave and MATLAB, but in this video, I will use OD45. To work with the OD45 function, you need to start defining the variable for the output. In other words, solutions. The OD45 function will return the solution y versus t as a tabularized numbers. The first parameter for the OD45 function requires the ordinary differential equation that you would like to solve. <coughs> One way to define is to create a separate M file. I will show you how to do shortly. Next, we need to define the range of the independent variable t. I use a t span as a variable name for 1 by 2 row vector. And the first element should be the lower bound and the second element should be the upper bound. Lastly, you need to define the initial condition y0. In this case, y0 equals 1. To work with OD45 function, I use t and y as output variables. You can start with t, y and square brackets. Next step is to define the OD to solve. You can open a blank script and define ODE as a user-defined function. I start with function followed by the dy dt as an output and function name my ODE and t and y as arguments. My ODE is dy over dt equals minus 2y, so I typed accordingly. Then I wrap up with end at the end. Save this script as the same function name, myode.m under the same working directory. So my od45 function will call my od without having a problem. To call my od from od45 function, I need to start with at t comma y with a parenthesis, basically telling that my ODE is a function of y versus t followed by the function my ODE with the parentheses t comma y. Then I need to define the range of the time t to work with. I chose 0 for the lower bound and 3 for the upper bound. So I use t min equals to 0 and t max equals 3. To fit them into the single variable t span, I use t min and t max with the square bracket. Lastly, you need to define the initial condition y0. In this case, y0 equals 1. When you solve the ODE, OD45 will return the solution as a row vectors for y versus t. As you can see, you find two row vectors in the variable editors. To visualize the data, you can plot using plot function. I use the red empty circle and increase the font size and add the grid. To double check if this solution is reasonable, I would compare with the analytical solution y equals e to the power of minus 2t. You can create a separate row vector for the time with the same time range from 0 to 3, t exact and then create the y equals e to the power minus 2t for the plot. You can add the analytical solution to the existing plot for the comparison. As you can see, two solutions agree to each other, which means that OD45 solved the equation reasonably. In summary, we briefly talked about how to come up with the ODE, followed by pen and paper approach, and OD45 function in Octave and MATLAB. Thanks for watching this video until the end and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, and engineering and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.